here's the latest finished build I came up with. So I took a bunch of those spare parts that I had left over from the well, Structo build recently and put them together with a bunch of other like junk parts I had, like these tires from, I believe, a like MRC Royal Ripper. They were garbage. The pins that actually drive the wheel were all stripped out, so I machined them back with a Dremel, got them to where they could be a drive wheel again, and then just started fixing all the dumb linkage and wiring issues I had with that crawler and took this really beat up Tonga cement mixer from the 80s, which there's a diff few different generations of these I can go over. I'm not sure on the exact year, but here we go. So like somewhere in the 80s with these generation, you still had a steel frame and steel sides on the bed or the cab itself. Then you had one of the later generations where the steel top of the cab stayed the same, but the sides went to plastic and the frame was still steel. The last generation of these was a plastic frame and a plastic side of the cab. So I'm estimating this is somewhere around the mid to early 80s, but I'm not super familiar with the later generations like this one. Hope, uh, hopefully that's some help to anyone who's trying to look for one of these, that you try and look for ones with a side cab, that way you've got steel frame to work with. So going from that, super big up wheels, and I use most of a Red Cat Rock Slide crawler that I picked up super cheap just for those parts a while ago and had to fix all the wiring because I had duct tape and other garbage like holding all the wires together. So just going to flip this on down here. Not a whole lot to cover. I just crossed over the links from each other. So here we go. There is our two links for the upper part of the four link. And there's two mounts for the links that go to the back right there. Going from that, not a whole else was done other than just drilling a few holes and mounting everything together using hardware left over from the previous build. And I shuffled the links to outside of where they originally were mounted on the rear since I locked the rear axle to not steer since the wheelbase is so stubby. And just threw the shocks to the inside, the front just threw the shocks right off the outside of here instead of off the link like they originally were. It was just simplified and trying to keep the whole build pretty simple while I was getting this thing put together to flip. And other than that, there was just a matter of old school Futaba 75 megahertz AM receiver and just testing everything while I went with using the old school cab over. Turn that on, turn this on. I did that in the opposite order you should be but my ESC has got a safe or a fail safe in it so it won't do anything crazy until it recognizes I've got a remote turned on so and a throttle which will still work on the cab over since it's plugged in <laughs> all right now I'll cut to working on this thing later I'd say that works. For I've built and it got everything to function and not a whole lot else to it. It's just kind of tough and it doesn't seem to break. So this will be a fun one to either get like keep around for a little bit or hopefully I'll flip for around 200 bucks. But anyhow, I'll see you guys next time.